What's going on troops? Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy. And today we're gonna use one of the books from a definitive drum method series to inspire our groove construction. It's gonna be a good one, I guarantee it. So let's get after it. Now, as you know, with all the groove construction lessons, we take a basic beat or concept and then we develop it step by step to discover just some of the endless possibilities of what we can do with it. So to keep track of everything we're gonna to cover today, just hit the link and download your free PDF so you can just absorb all of this awesome information and ultimately just get the most out of this lesson. All right, the inspiration for today's groove construction comes from one of the books out of the highly revered pattern series by, yes, the world-renowned drum guru, Gary Chafee. The concept that we're gonna have some fun with today comes from the book, Time Functioning Patterns. Okay, so this, like many of the other patterns books, just has a wealth of information that can be applied in virtually endless ways. But I do wanna caution you a bit. If you, if you do choose to go through any of these patterns books, please do it with the guidance of, of a private teacher, or private instructor. I, I remember when I first tried to go through these books on my own, and I didn't really understand how to best approach these ideas and concepts, and I just kind of floundered around a bit, and it was a total mess. So don't, don't follow my example. I, just, I don't want you to waste any time. I just want you to find someone that can really help you get the most out of these amazing books in the most efficient and effective way. So today we're gonna use this basic grouping pattern, which is exercise 5A on page 44. Basically, it's just two groupings of three and then two groupings of five. The three note groupings, we're, we're gonna play them as right, left, kick. And then the five note groupings, we're gonna play those as right, left, right, left, kick. All right, so let's check it out with kick one, and snare two. only. All right, now that we got that, let the fun times begin. Let's make it happen here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna move the right hand to the hi-hat, right? Left hand is still gonna stay on the snare. We're gonna play all ghost notes, except for beats two and four. That's where with the left hand, we're gonna accent the snare to create a really nice solid back beat, all right? This is one B on your PDF. Two. Of course you knew it was coming, just like we always do. We're gonna add some 30 second note doubles for some extra flair and goodness, all right? So, so let's double the and and ah of beat two, and then on beat four, let's double the e and the and, all right? Now remember, always with the doubles, we wanna take it slow and really pull out those doubles. Try to make them as open as possible because we really wanna hear all those nice articulations. All right, so let's do it. One, this is 2A. Two two. All right, now that was pretty cool, but I think a little hi-hat opening on the ah uh of beat one will really complete the overall awesomeness that this groove has to one, offer. All right, let's two, try it. Three, four, one.
finally, let's explore some tom orchestrations, my favorite. So we're just gonna move our right hands down, toms one, two, and three, starting on the of one. Same coordination and everything, we're just gonna move it down, one, two, three, make the tom travel. It's gonna be awesome. One thing I want you to pay attention to is, is listen to hear how much thicker and percussive this new version sounds, all right? Just never underestimate the impact of incorporating toms and what that really does to your grooves. It adds a whole new dimension to it. And so when it's used musically in the right context, it can be a really effective tool. All right, so let's try it. Three, A. So usually for our final constructor groove, we try to incorporate all of the variations or techniques that we've explored up to this point in the lesson. So now let's play our 30 second note doubles on the E and and of beat four, we did that before. But now let's add a newer hi-hat opening on the uh of beat three, all right? So let's, let's try our chafey Frankenstein groove. As always, if this lesson helped inspire you to construct some of your own grooves, can you, can you please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Myself and this channel, we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That, that would be awesome. And, and if you want to know which books of the Pattern series is actually my favorite, just ask me in the comments below. I'll give you, I'll give you my top two out of, out of all the books, all right? Okay, troops, that is it for this lesson. If you haven't checked out Gary Chafee's Patterns books, it just, you just have to do it, okay? They're, they're a virtual encyclopedia of drumming possibilities. But remember, like I said, please seek out a private teacher to help you, help you get the most out of them. It will, it'll just help you maximize and apply all the information in these just awesome, awesome books, okay? And as always, go buy drum books, all right? It's one of the best things that you can do for your drumming, I guarantee it. All right, so until next time, stay focused, practice with purpose. We'll see you soon.